And as we mentioned, increased testing is a key part of the new fight against the Omicron variant. Today, cities and towns continue to hand out thousands of at-home tests designed to flatten this new curve. News 12 Connecticut's Suzanne Goldklang joins us right now from Calf Pasture Beach with more. So Suzanne, how did it go? Officials here in Norwalk are actually pretty happy with how things went tonight. They were worried about the traffic. They were worried they might run out of tests, but in the end, they had enough to last all evening. COVID is spreading like wildfire. Volunteers and first responders spent hours in the cold at Calf Pasture Beach. <laughs> unboxing masks and COVID test kits. These are individual kits, so it's two boxes, so you only have to test once. And then so we're getting two car, two kits per car, and then a pack of masks. For the thousands of people who would begin arriving at dusk. They have a target goal in mind for how many cars, kind of every 15 minutes, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how we go with the volunteers. Police and officials knew a crowd was inevitable, but hoped to limit the traffic that backed up out of the park and onto East Norwalk streets. He looks at me and says, you're number one. The first folks arriving two hours ahead of schedule. That's why I came early, so I could get in the beginning of the line. Some feeling anxious, others relieved a hard-to-find test was finally in sight. I want to just be sure because I got two grandchildren, two little boys, and I want to be healthy for them. The early birds were rewarded. The crew started handing out supplies 45 minutes early. You have a good night, sir. And hours later showed no signs of flagging. Let's keep it moving. Doing their best to keep traffic moving while offering encouragement. Oh, I'll be perfect if it's negative. I'll be great. At the peak, they were handing out about 900 tests per hour. Now, with so many people testing at home, statistics are going to be incomplete. However, Norwalk is asking people if they test positive to use the postcard that came with their test and the QR code to report those results. In Norwalk, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12 Connecticut. All right.